It's Big Vic TV. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. What's up guys? Someone once told me that the best teacher is experience. So if that's true, wouldn't that mean that if you've never done something before and someone raises their hand to show you the way, there's about an 85 to 90% chance that you can succeed in that thing that you're learning. But catch this part. If you follow their teachings to the letter and are coachable, you should be winning. It's amazing how the people with all of the know-how and 15 plus years of experience never shared this life-changing information with the masses. But these are some of the same negative people that get upset when you guys cheer us brave creators on for continuing to keep bringing value to the community. You see guys, I live by this principle. It doesn't matter how hard you dance, not everyone is gonna get up and clap. So dance anyway. I got the entire Amazon to myself right now, y'all, look. I'm the only box truck in the building right now, let's go. I don't know if this speaker's on or not, but y'all see what's going on. Say what's up to Old Yellow. Say what's up, you two. Look at all these empty spots, y'all. They pull up right here. Like, seriously? Who does this? Who does this? Y'all really, y'all really just parked right there, though? I'm trying to pull right in front of, pull right in front of Old Yeller, number two. Like, for real, y'all, look. This is wild. This is wild right there. So this post office is not open yet, but I'm like 10 minutes from the crib. And um, it's cool. It's cool. Turn my light on. It's cool. So this one is like 10 minutes from the crib. It's like five, five minutes right here beside this quick trip. It's an easy run, y'all. Only have one pallet on this truck. Too easy. Too easy. Now they don't they now they're not always like this. 
But this one tonight, too easy. Easy money. Um, yeah, this was an easy, easy low, easy run, y'all. I'ma uh, drop this pallet off, then I'm going to the crib. Gotta hit, uh, make a th bust a move tomorrow. But um, yeah, I caught I caught another round robin for next for next week. I caught an early access round robin. I seen a couple of lows that was uh, that that are early access. Um, that was early access loads that are leaving Columbia going to leaving Columbia going to Charlotte and then of course Charlotte back to Columbia a little a few hours after I dropped that load off it's going to be next Thursday going into Friday and then Friday Friday so yeah caught another round robin usually can catch those i'm starting to see a lot of newer loads popping up uh for amazon i guess some new amazons are opening up like maybe there's one in miami I, i've seen start popping up leaving out of columbia going to miami so you know what that means right if i ever want to bust a little quick move make some money go down to miami if i'm going to miami anyway Drive the truck down to Miami. But the, the trick is going to be making sure I get the hell out of Miami with a load or find something to bring me back towards this way. Which means it could be a load that is not paying the greatest. But I can always go to Jacksonville. I can always go to Jacksonville, Florida and catch something going back to Charleston. That's a given. I can always catch one of those loads. So if I can... I probably have to deadhead there anyway, but if I'm on vacation and that's just something I'm going to do anyway and I want to make some money and just probably use the money I make, maybe, let's say with the Amazon run, go blow that down there. Well, I'm not really blowing it because it's going to cost me gas money to, to do all of that anyway. Uh, but that's a possibility. That, 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 that is a possibility. Um, so, yeah, you know, I'm just thinking about some things that I could possibly do. You know, if I decided, if I, if I bust a move down there in my, in my yayo, -yo, you feel me? So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's what, man, hit my elbow. So, yeah, that's what's going on. Right now, I'm shooting on this iPhone 13 Max, Pro Max. I think I said it right. iPhone 13 Pro Max. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm just out here just making it do what it do right now. Getting a light bag. Just a light bag tonight. Just a light bag tonight. And I really wasn't doing nothing else. Aside from creating content. So I said I'll, I'll, I'll book a load for the day. I'll book a load for the day. But yeah, it's all good. Y'all know what it is, man. I'm going to hit y'all when I pull this one little light pallet off. And drop this at the post office. But we'll be at the crib in no time. No, but seriously, y'all. Here's my question. There's a park there. There, 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 there. They decided to pull here. Right here. Come on, man. Like, little things like that just irritate me. They, they, they annoy me. It's like, let's pull right in front of the truck. Thankfully, there's nobody behind me so I can get out of this mess. But <laughs> this is, this, that's the weirdest thing I've seen somebody do in terms of parking. When you could have clearly parked right there. Come on now, it's nonsense. Uh, they call that privilege, I think. Yeah, it's called privilege, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm blowing this out of proportion. I don't know. Uh -huh.